the people we're most concerned about are people who are 65 and older. We know that at baseline without the ice, they're about, they have about a 30% chance of falling. Um, we're also concerned about anyone who has balance issues or a balance impairment, difficulty walking, people who rely on assistive devices to walk like canes or walkers, um, and certainly anyone who already has an injury, any kind of orthopedic injury if they fell and could worsen it, um, someone who's just had surgery or something like that. And I think some more basic types of injuries would be sprains or strains, possibly a concussion. We do worry about people hitting their head um, on up to things like fractures of the wrist, the forearm, um, shoulder injuries, um, back, back injuries or fractures um, on up to like a, a, you know, a head injury. So we have to be really careful on the ice. The ice and snow mean take it slow. Essentially, if you're in a higher risk category, just avoiding going outside at all is best. Um, if you need basic supplies like food or groceries, if you can ask a friend or family member to bring them, um, rely on some of these great grocery delivery services, um, it could really uh, be helpful. Um, other than that, just seeing are your walkways shoveled? Are, are, is there salt down? Is there a rail to hold on to? Wear really good footwear, wear boots with good traction. Um, make sure you're holding on, going really slowly. Avoid stairs and slopes, things like that. Try not to be carrying a bunch of things. We always want people's hands to be free so they could reach or you know help themselves if they lost their balance. Um, avoid your hands in your pocket. Avoid you know looking down at your phone while walking. Another suggestion is if you're getting out of a vehicle to go really slowly and be careful and use that vehicle for support. Um, you may not be able to get in, you know, out of it as quickly as you normally do. Ice is obviously the worst thing we're worried about. If you're not sure, being able to kind of slowly test a spot and, and step on it before going. Um, and even walking more flat-footed versus setting your heel down, which is less surface area and contact and could slip.